Hey, so I've got a confession to make. As many of you know, I'm a big fan of the concept of extreme ownership that Jocko Willink wrote about uh, in a book he wrote by the same name. And uh, the idea of extreme ownership is that everything is our fault, that we really can take blame for anything that happens regardless of uh, other people that might have played a role in it. And I want to share a story of how this works in my life and see if maybe you guys can apply it to yourself. So I'm feeling terrible right now. Uh, I went on a listing presentation to some clients to talk about selling their house because it had been with another realtor for six months and it hadn't sold. Now, the hardest part of any listing agent's job, basically, is to convince their client that their house is not worth as much as they thought. This is where most real estate agents struggle and it's why houses don't sell. They can't have that honest conversation with their client where they explain to them, your house isn't worth this much. Well, I showed up and I did that. I actually did a very good job of it. And I had a really good relationship with these people. I helped them understand they need to drop their price. Now, what I didn't do was make them sign a listing agreement with me when I left. I let them think about it for a little while and get back to me. And what they did is they went back to their current agent, said, let's just drop the price with you and see how you do rather than signing with David. The house sold the next day. So I know I gave them great advice and I know that I did what was in their best interest, but my interests weren't looked out for in that situation. And it's easy to blame the people. It's easy to blame the other agent. It's easy to blame a bunch of people, but really at the end of the day, it was my mistake that I didn't find a way to explain to them. If I tell you what needs to happen to sell your house, I expect you to sell it with me. Will you do that? It was my error. So what I need to do is look at a different way to give that script, like I just said right now, so that people feel comfortable signing with me after I give them advice. It would be very easy for you to say, hey David, that's not your fault, you did the right thing. Of course, all that's true, but at the end of the day, I didn't get the results I want, and the agent who sent me that lead, they lost out on a 25% referral fee that they deserve because they sent me a lead and they should be able to expect me to close it. So. This is something I wanted to share because it's really bugging me right now. I know I could be better. I know it's going to make me better, but it would only make you better if you practice extreme ownership and you accept that there was something that I could have done different rather than blaming everybody else. Hope that gives you something to think about.